All right, so our friends over at King Bowen sent us a product today to review, and I'm gonna do an honest review. This is your basic OBD2 scanner. Simple things right away, has full 10 modes of OBD2 testing, turn it off your check engine lights, battery tests with a graph, supposedly we'll see, uh, multiple languages, built-in DCT lookup, which is actually pretty cool if that's the fact. Um, 1.8 inch color screen and then it supports 1996 and newer OBD2 cars. So right out of the back it's pretty simple you've got up and down arrows you've got to enter kind of like an okay and then you've got a, a, a back label. Um, you've also got a piece of plastic on here. And then it comes with a very very basic quick start guide here that Pretty much anybody can go through and figure out how to use this thing. So we're going to go ahead and utilize this on my wife's minivan here, the Chrysler 2014 Chrysler Town & Country. And then we also will cross-reference it to the 2004 Chevy Duramax to see how it performs between, you know, basically like a Mopar and then um, the Chevy, the GM. So we're going to go ahead and test this out. So the first thing you need to do is locate your OBD2 port. And it's going to be different on every vehicle, but most likely it's usually right here. Basically just plug it in. So now that we've got it plugged in, no power on, no ignition on. We're just running off of the 12 volts um, from the car itself, from the OBD2. You have your diagnostic, your DCT lookup, your voltage test, your options, and then your about, which your about is, you know, just the information about the controller here. Um, your options are going to be your language. Let's see, you've got multiple different languages here. Definitely enough languages for, I think anybody can get this figured out. Uh, reselect English. Your units of measure, which you've got metric and English. Um, and then we've got our self-test. So let's take a look at our voltage test. Obviously, since we have voltage right now, our status is good. We've got 12.3 volts. We can actually test to see if the alternator is working as well. So we can do that by turning the vehicle on but we're not going to do that right now so go ahead put your ignition on so we're going to go ahead and hit the diagnostic um did that, wow that was that was pretty quick um there's your information so you go back now one you've got read codes erase codes live data freeze frame which is kind of cool vehicle info o2 sensor test component test okay very interesting we got a lot of got a decent stuff the freeze frame is actually pretty cool but before we go to the freeze frame, we're going to go ahead and read these codes. Stored codes. P0128 is our code, and it actually tells you what the code is right away instead of having to look it up. All right, so now let's go to the live, the freeze frame, which is really cool, I think. So we've got the P0128, and now what this is, is this is going to tell you absolutely everything where the vehicle was at when the code popped up for the vehicle it's going to tell you absolutely everything that you need to know which is it which is really helpful um when it comes to diagnostic and stuff like that um again this is just kind of your basic reader though so you don't really need you're not going to get a lot of out of this um so unfortunately that's just kind of how it is so for my honest opinion on this i think it's like 15 dollars on amazon i fully believe everyone should have some type of scanner like this you really can't go wrong with it it does really well we'll do a voltage test and show you how you can see if your alternator is working or not on here real quick um Anybody that owns a vehicle needs to have one of these in a glove box. It's very light. It's very small. You can put it in your glove box. You won't even notice it. But it's going to save you a lot of um, worry when your check engine light comes on. They're very simple to use. You, you plug it in. You turn your ignition on. You leave your ignition on. And then you go through and you can go ahead and do it as simple as this. It's got four buttons. Very simple. Um, again, like I said, this is something that absolutely everyone, I do believe, needs to have in their vehicles. It saves you a trip to, like, say, AutoZone or something like that. Um, and a lot of people, for some reason, don't like to go to AutoZone or all the other parts stores for check engine lights. They like to take them into the dealerships or into uh, mechanic shops. You don't need to do that. Simply buy, spend $15 on something like this. I'll leave a link in the description below for this specific one. I'm actually a really big fan of it because it's really easy to use. Um, it does really well. We're going to go ahead and cross-reference it to my truck now. Um, but it, before we do that, we'll do the voltage test. So I'm pretty impressed with it. In my world, I need more of like a actual physical scanner and not something like this. But this will be nice to have. I'll keep it in my wife's vehicle for, you know, circumstances like if that check engine light pops up and I want to know what it is on the fly. This is exactly what that's for. So now we're going to go ahead and do that voltage test. And you can see we're sitting at 12.2 volts. 
Now I'm going to do something here that tells me not to do. I'm going to start the vehicle. And look at that. Now you can see you went from 12.2 or whatever to 14.3. And that just is basically showing you that your alternator is actually charging. So something as simple like this, you can even do some diagnostic with it. Um, but like I said, it's just basically your check engine light reader is what it is, is what it's designed for. So for $15, I highly recommend this little thing. All right, so here's the Duramax. We're doing some landscaping right now. So like I said before, all the OBD2s are kind of in the same spot. Plug it in. Boom, look at that. We've got it on. Um, we're just going to go ahead and do a diagnostic right away. Detecting. Taking a little bit longer than the Chrysler. Really not too terribly long, especially considering how some scan tools take. My goodness. There we go. Communication errors. Oh, but uh, look at that. <laughs> look at that. That's pretty cool. I forgot to turn the ignition on like an idiot. And uh, it says one switch ignition on. Two, check your uh, connections tight, and three, verify if the vehicle has OBD2 co compliant. That's pretty cool. So if you don't have your ignition on, like me, spaced, now my ignition's on, this will actually tell you the steps to take care of it if it's not working. All right, so now that we got this, we're going to go ahead and do the diagnostic. Again, this is really cheap. Um, one, so I'm curious to see how it handles with the ECM and TCM. Uh, let's see here, and I'll go back from the status. Module $10, module $18. That's interesting. I'm assuming that's e that's the different read codes, stored codes. No codes are stored in the module. Pending codes, no pending codes. Now let's go to module 18, which I'm assuming is like the TCM. Store codes. Well, oh shit, look at that. Perfectly. Heck yeah. That's awesome. P0735, gear 5 incorrect ratio. All right. Pending codes. Oops, sorry. And there's two. Sorry, I didn't I forgot to say this. So there's one, there's two. So here's the second one. P0843 transmission fluid pressure sensor. Let's do a own voltage test on here. 12.3. Let's do the whole starter up. Look at that, 12.4, 12.5, 12.6. It'll eventually climb up to 14.3, um, there you go, 13, 13.1. There we go, 14.3, 14.2, 14.4, 14.3, 14.4, perfect. So all honestly, this little thing for $15 is really handy and I highly suggest it. So shout out to King Bowen for sending this out to me. I'm very happy with what I got for the cost of what it is. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below if you want. Have a good one.